Bracky Palmer Smithy. Awesome. Leg didn't fly out of the enclosure this time. <laughs> I tell you, your abdomen's getting full. Wow. May have to give you a much smaller treat next week. You look like you're about to explode. Yeah, the brackies are quite stocky. This one's no exception. Alright, very good. This is my Phonopalma Calcotes. Doesn't seem to be interested. We'll leave it in there. Check on it later. This is my Brachypalma Vagans. feel generous tonight. Why don't I just give you two? There you go. You can get the other one later. Okay, cool. This is the lair of my Trinitulus muranus. Let's see if it would like a superworm today. Wow, I should say so. <laughs> that was a big grab. Have at it, girly. It's all yours. And like usual, there's the rear end of my Pocletheria striata. Let's see if the pokey would like a cricket.
Yes, the pokey would like a cricket. Very good. This is my recently malted Nandu Colorado Velocis. Let's see if it would like uh, some mealworms. seem interested. Alright, I'll remove them. This is my Nandu Carapanensis. Not interested. Two in a row, not interested. That's not good. This is my Ceratogyrus brachycephalus. Her usual grouchy self. Let's see if she would like a super worm today. She's in her usual threat posture. I'll leave it in there. She can have it if she wants it. <laughs> Alright. Grouch. Here's my Avicularia Avicularia. Uh, doing really well. I put uh, he or she in another enclosure. This is the third one. <laughs> I think I'm finally happy with this one. So I'm not going to be feeding this one on camera today because it uh, is probably stressed from move, <laughs> being moved again so we'll just leave it alone and just have this merely as an update really cute alright this is my Cremata Palma Ciano Pubescence There you go. And I feel generous today, so I'm going to give you another one. <laughs> of course.
Enjoy your double treat. Yep, they love to web. I mean, look at all that. <laughs> all right, I'll leave you alone. There's only three teas left. As you can see with my Lysiodora Pear Habana, the abdomen is dark and swollen. Uh, so it is in pre-molt, and we will not feed this one uh, today. But I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how large it'll get with the next molt. And as uh, far as fruitcake is concerned, my nun do Chromatis, and she's not in the mood to say hello today. You can barely see her abdomen and her legs. But yeah, she's being antisocial today. I know that makes everyone sad because we all love fruitcake. Well, maybe uh, after she molts. Uh, she's in pre-molt right now, so we'll just leave her alone. And stay tuned uh, for my Grandma Stola Rosea. And here's my sweet Grandma Stola Rosea to end the video with. Probably not going to eat because it's fasting, but I don't want my tarantulas to starve, so we'll at least give it that tea a chance. Hitch, hitching a ride, I see. Yeah, T's not hungry. <laughs> well, that was really cute. I'll leave it in there. Maybe it'll want it later. And she's my sweetheart. She lets me hold her most of the time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this feeding video. I'm sorry the last few were kind of boring, but uh, hopefully the beginning made up for it. And I appreciate you watching my videos and all the comments you've been making. They've all been very nice. And I hope you have a good night. Alright, bye.